Guys, Sandy's here again for a random picks throwback. Ba, 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 ba. Oh. <laughs> you guys know the drill. Sandy's gonna go through the collection, pull out five random records. I am going to hopefully say cool things about them. She is gonna try not to crush records with her feet like Godzilla as she stomps through the room. And uh, yeah, so you're gonna enjoy. So stick go. around. All right, it's time for you to pick. I'm ready. I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm so ready. You have a record shirt on. Oh, yes. This is where I bought all my records on Record Store Day in Dallas. It's called Good Records, and it's such a cool record store. Shout out. I think the owner's name is Chris. Yeah, Chris. Wait, his name is Chris. What? All right. Let's get to picking. Let's do this. So... <laughs> <laughs> since I left, Let's do this. <laughs> since I've last been here, Matt, Matt's collection grew like by tenfold. So, uh... Um, That's a lot. I don't know if 10, but... Uh, dude. Substantially. <laughs> there's, a, there's a box right down here, and I don't want to move, so... You're not going to pick only from this box, though. Uh, this looks awesome. This is awesome. Part of me feels like I showed this record off with you once upon a time, but... I maybe not. Remember. Maybe not. Um, this is Hum. You'd prefer an astronaut. So this is kind of like shoegazy rock. Um, really kind of some celestial stuff. Some really pretty melodies. Cool. Um, this is one... This is their, their best record, in my opinion. And of course, it has a really cool gatefold. I love this side of it. Wow. It's super rad, super pretty. I feel um, like I've seen this before, actually. Yeah, well, it's a great record. Um, and the zebra, it's uh, it's actually uh, has some texture to the zebra, unlike the rest of the jacket. It's a shiny, kind of like glossy zebra. And the disc is cool. I love this kind of genre as well. It's always like great music for your. Yeah, it's good to, it's contemplative. It's very nice to listen to in the background. And, um, but the, the, the vocals are great on this album too. Is that painted? No, it's just, it's a, it's a sloppy split. So it's like a white black split that has this kind of like not clear division in the middle, That's which awesome. I think looks really cool. Yeah. There's not a lot of records that are, that are black and white. I feel like uh, oftentimes it's white with splatter or, or black. So I think this is a cool, this is probably the only black white split I have in my collection, wow. which is cool because I have, I don't know if you noticed. Matches the zebra theme. Exactly. They have some versions of this record that are actually on green variations because the cover is obviously predominantly green. Hum, you prefer an astronaut. And you got it at Amoeba. And I got it at Amoeba. Cool. So yeah, good pick. Oh, you're really going to be real lazy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what a cover. So I haven't opened this yet and it's not because I'm going to sell it because it does go for quite a bit of money. I haven't opened it yet because it's in my bin that she's been picking from exclusively, which is my to listen to soon records, not my just to listen to at some point. This is Injury Reserve, Floss, and Live from the Dentist Office. So what this is, this is really graphic, this this image right here is yeah. like super, it's like a grill. That I love like, it. And this one's, yeah. So Injury Reserve is a hip hop group that they're doing kind of um, experimental hip hop that's really poppy at the same time. Cool. So I would compare them to a little Run the Jewelsy, a little clipping like, and then a little bit like uh, Flatbush Zombies. So it's all this stuff that's like kind of underground stuff that's breaking into the, the mainstream because it's really catchy and it has poppy mm -hmm. elements to it, uh, but it isn't like the trap stuff on the radio or anything. It's really like interesting production the whole time it gets you through. And this is um, an EP and, a, and an album put together into one release and uh, it sold out really fast. There were like maybe like 500 So copies. this was an online buy? This is an online buy. If you like the groups I just mentioned, you gotta listen to Injury Reserve. A lot of hip hop these days doesn't sound like this because it's all trying to sound like that. Like the yeah, stuff yeah. on the radio, it's all melting into like the Migos kind of Travis Scott type sound. They're where, not followers basically. Right, they're carving their own path along with those other people that I mentioned that are doing some really unique things that don't have the recognition of the big names, but they deserve it. So That's great. Injury Reserve is awesome and I'm gonna hopefully pop this open soon. I think you would love it. Fun fact, I asked my dentist for a girl when I was 15 and he did not like that. I, I think he made the right choice. Into the wild, here I go. Talk to me. What is this? This looks amazing. That's amazing you would pick this directly after Injury Reserve because this is, I referenced them when I was talking about Injury Reserve. Oh, wow. So Flatbush Zombies, um, first of all, this is also sealed because uh, I have to play it soon. It is incredibly hard to find. This is one of the rarest records I own, actually. What? Um, it goes for like $300. Wait, why is it so rare? Did the artist just not want to make a lot of copies or what's it? I think there weren't a ton of copies when it first came out. It hasn't ever had a repress and- they... Oh, is this old? No, 2016, so it's not that old. 
But what happened is they became really popular about the time this came out, and then they became even more popular, and they snowballed, and now they're like selling out shows around the world. Wow. It's a hip hop trio, and this art, first of all, is this, absolutely this incredible. This art is cra This art reminds me of like gorillas on acid. Yeah, it's, it's actually very gorillas like. That's a good. That's a good comparison. The three of them all have really distinct flows. And they're, they're, the songs are incredibly interesting. The production's high production, and the it's 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 a lot like Run the Jewels. It feels like that element of just intensity, but also being super catchy and really on point and tight. If I saw this somewhere, I would totally think like, hmm, that might sound like Run the Jewels. Yeah, exactly. And obviously, I mean, it's hip hop. I mean, it's hard to say, but like, it seems like it could be a little psychedelic, and at times it is. I don't remember all of their names, but one guy has this, oh, you talk like this? That's like how he raps, and it's amazing, and I love him. That's so um, cool. This is an amazing album, and they just put out another album after this. I think it's called Vacation in Hell. And did that also sell out super fast? Um, did not have a vinyl pressing yet, so I think people are just like chomping at the bit. They're wow. just leaving money on the table right now. They're just like, here's the money! I don't understand why musicians who sell out super fast on stuff like don't do represses. I don't know why either. Um, inside of here, they actually have some cool inserts. They have a poster, but they also have a, uh, uh, a sheet of acid blotter. What is that? It's like a, it's like a little a sheet with like little tiny like squares that you're supposed to like drip acid LSD on. And then rip them apart, and then like you—that's how you—that's how you do acid. What? So it's not there's no acid on it. Obviously, it's it's just like the base of it, but it's like it's like art like this on the blotter. It's really cool, oh, um, including rolling paper with. Like, that's <laughs> crazy. Yeah, that's like with the like modern a Willie day. Willie Nelson album. Or no, something. Cheech and Chong had rolling papers in some of their early comedy records. Oh wow! And uh, so like that's like the modern day version of this. That's I guess. really cool. But yeah, three thousand. No, don't do drugs. But like, that's a really <laughs> that's cool really cool. Detail. In theory, <laughs> three thousand one, a laced odyssey. That's what the album's called, which is obviously a, they, they're really inspired by Kubrick. I was listening to an interview with them, and they're all super intelligent, interesting guys. Bad, bad books. What is this? This is this looks like a really cool cover. Yeah, this is actually this is this is a cool one. This is awesome. It feels like a book. It is a book. Oh, How is this not open yet? How have I not opened? Open this? Open it. Open I it. I will open it. Open it. Ah, Let's do this! It's open! <laughs> Bad books. Look how cool this is. Like the, the, the gold uh, foil on there. This is quality. Um, Bad Books is the collaborative project, which I actually got to see live, which was cool because they don't perform a lot as Bad Books. They perform a lot separately. Kevin Devine and Andy Hull of Manchester Orchestra. We saw Kevin Devine together at the We Echo. did. Yeah, and it was awesome, right? Yeah. Well, him and uh, Manchester Orchestra, if you don't know them... I know Manchester Orchestra. Unbelievable. I love them. Um, Andy Hull and him did this project called Bad Books. This is the second album, and they decided to make a bad book. Uh, wow. I don't know if that's actually what they did. This is so cool. Yeah. Um, oh my gosh, I feel like you're my kindergarten librarian. Anyway, so the bad books all went to B Books, and they were really bad. The discs are... Um, just on black vinyl, which I think they should have been gold. There is a gold variant of the standard press. I don't know why they wouldn't do that with the gold cover, or the red or the red variant or something. Mm -hmm. But this packaging is robust and beautiful and awesome, and I can spot this anywhere in my in my collection. Yeah, it's so no, obvious. it's very obvious. That's why you picked it, probably. You love a big um, spine, huh? <laughs> no, <laughs> quote: I love big spines. Big I love spine. big spines and I cannot laugh. The big song from this, their single, um, is called Forrest Whitaker. It begins with this awesome whistling part. It's like... <laughs> anyway, just do listen to it. Forrest Whitaker knows that there's a song about him? He better. That's such an honor. First of all, it's a great song. Second of all, to have a song about you by two accomplished musicians. You should tweet at him. Yo, Forrest! Check this out. Check this song out. He's like, I know. He's like, it's my name. <laughs> Bad Books. This is a great album. Their first one actually was out of print for a very long time, and it got a reissue last year, I believe. Picked that up, too. So Bad Books, great project. Um, hope that they're doing a third one day. Who knows? I'm so good at picking these records. Okay, I'm off. She's off. What is this? Oh. What do you, what do you think? Pearl Jam! <laughs> Dude, this is your... Your shiz. Um, by the time this video comes out, I will have seen Pearl Jam for the first time. In right Seattle? In Seattle. Their hometown. Hometown. This album is one that a lot of people don't think is their best, um, or even close to their best. And it's hard to say that because they have 
10 albums that are all amazing. This is definitely in the lower half for me, but honestly, I love so many songs. This is one of their poppier albums. A lot of these songs got a lot of radio play, like Just yeah. Breathe, uh, Got Some, The Fixer. Those are all pretty big um, hits for them, but also has some great songs like Unthought Known, Amongst the Waves, songs that are really good for just listening to an album front to back and finding songs that are surprising you that you don't, might not know from, from the radio. I have to tell you something. You've never heard Pearl Jam. Well, I probably, since it's like radio play, but I've been meaning to get into Pearl Jam because you love them so much, but I can't like name songs or... That's fine. That's that's what I'm here for. I was okay. put on this planet to get you into Pearl Jam. I mean, you're many decades behind, but they're timeless. <laughs> I love this, this gatefold too. Wow. Um, Whoa, is this like a pop? Like a... Like it moves. Well, it's like a... Oh, okay. Kind of, yeah. You can kind of put anyone's face in the center. This is so cool. Wow, this is really fun. Yeah, great packaging, um, pretty solid pressing. There's a limited version of Backspacer that's on white vinyl, and it goes for like $300, so I don't have it. But one day, if I found it, I actually look at every Backspacer copy at a record store if it's used and check if it's the white one. It obviously never is. But one day, yeah. someone's going to slip up, and I'm going to get it. Dude, you always get so lucky with these records. What is this? That's a big old booklet. Pearl Jam always is really good with their like booklets and inserts. They're... Whoa, I yeah. feel like this is me. What is it? Uh, sure. <laughs> Kicking people's ass. <laughs> I love this band and I love this album. I love all their albums. Equally, they're all my children. Pro Jam. There you go. They're, like, every two inches of Matt's room is filled with per Pearl Jam stuff. Persian rugs. <laughs> cool, this is really awesome. I have a lot of music to keep me busy for the next week or so. Yeah, one week. And then you gotta come back I and do another one. Back. Yeah. You know. I'm so down. Cool. Oh, I should have done. I should have done it. I, that was my chance. I blew it. If you guys watched the other video, thank you, Sandy. Always a pleasure. Thank you for for picking. You were you you were brave. You you succeeded. You picked five. Excellent I went into records. that jungle and I came out alive. Tell the people where they can follow you. At Idalia Valles underscore I D A L I A, Valles V A L L E S underscore. Is it underscore on all social media? Uh, no, just Instagram. Cool. I'll be sure to follow you. You don't already follow me? What is my life? I'll see, I'll see if I can squeeze you in. Uh, uh, Alright, this is getting dumb. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, Sandy will be back, no doubt, with more random picks and hopefully more of her own picks down the road. If you like this channel, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Subscribe. Give subscribe. my man some money. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching.